Hey everybody, this is Justin Rohner at agriscaping.com. So it's Market Monday and our market product of the day is going to be eggplant. we got two different varieties I'm going to show you. And uh, as it heats up, I mean it's 105 today here in Arizona, so it's getting quite hot. And as the temperatures warm up, that's when plants like eggplant really, really start to thrive. And so it's important to know what kind of ways to harvest these guys, when to harvest them when they're ripe. These two different main varieties, we'll talk about those specifically. And we're curious about what kind of questions you have about eggplants. Uh, we've got some chefs and others that would love to be sharing with you guys some great recipes with eggplants because a lot of people, they've heard about eggplant. People say they love it or they hate it. But what we really want to get into is uh, to get you to that level of loving it. And the way to love it is to really find that recipe that really fits for you. So for me, it's like baba ganoush is one of my favorite things that I love to do with eggplant, especially more aged or mature eggplant. Um, good... Uh, there's eggplant parmesan, that's a really common recipe and stuff, but there's a lot of other things that you can do with eggplant. Uh, even ratatouille, ratatouille has eggplant in it, so that's another great option to do with your ratatouille, is go with ratatouille. Um, also has a great movie out there for kids and stuff, so that's another thing to be checking out. So what I've got here is actually the little finger eggplant. That's one of the more Japanese or Oriental varieties of eggplant. They're much skinnier and longer. I'm going to see if I can show you to them right now. Uh, show them to you. Yep. You can kind of see them right down in here. So here's these little guys, and these little ones, that's about what they, they grow into about four to eight inches, and that's a good time to be having them, good time to be harvesting them. And I'll show you the tools that I use to harvest them. So there's two ways that we harvest with them. Either it's this guy, which is a nice serrated little knife that we use to harvest a lot of our thicker stemmed or tougher stemmed things like an eggplant is. Eggplants hold themselves onto those plants really, really well. And so this nice little uh, serrated harvesting tool it's actually a, a pruning tool and they've got them in this little four inch size as well as an eight inch much longer stem but these little things they work pretty easy you can use them with just one hand uh, as you can cut through it and just rotate across that and just cut them off like i'm going to do right now um, but because the stems are so tough uh it's it's you're gonna need some type of knife in order to get them off so here's this little guy just did it with one hand pretty easy to do you can get four or five of them in one little swipe but I'm going to take you guys over to our bigger eggplant, the more Black Beauty style eggplants. Heading across my yard, there's my house, I'm going across to another part of the yard. All this stuff is edible, that's what agriscaping is about, a nice elegant edible landscape. You see my grape trellis in the background here. And then on this hill, which is all a hugel culture, so it's a mounding system, there's our trampoline. Underneath there, a beautiful garden, actually uh, a terraced garden underneath the trampoline. Good microclimate or subclimate that we've created under there. And then here on the back side, uh, just underneath my fig trees, we've got my little eggplant patch. Now this one's been around for a while. So this one is about a two-year-old patch. And we continue to grow these guys. They keep regrowing. And so on this plant, we have actually a variety of things. Um, what we've got, we've got a variety of ages. And so because of the ages of these different things, it's kind of good to see kind of where they're at. So when they start off, let me show you a little... A little guy, we have uh, every single age on this plant. And so here we got the start of one. They get all nice and spiky on the outside and they start off green with a little bit of purple hue. So you can see that right in there. And then as they grow a little bit bigger, they start getting the purple to them. As so this one starts growing and then they start getting much larger. Let's see if I can find some of our bigger ones hiding up inside of here. So you can see some kind of hanging down in there. They're kind of hiding. But let's see, here we go. <clears throat> So now they start getting a little bigger, more like softball size, and then we start looking at them and saying, okay, now we need to start looking at if they're ripening up. You can still see there's a good amount of green at the base. So they go from green to purple and then into gold. So if they get to the gold level, they've really gotten a little too mature. The seeds are going to be incredibly hard, and uh, about all you can make is baba ganoush. And so this stage right here, I'm going to wait a little bit longer until it starts getting a lot more purple at the base before I harvest this one for market. But they're already getting a good one pound to, to uh, even up to two pound high, uh, sizes. Yeah, here's another nice big one. See the bottom of this one, the green, the speckled green is starting to go away. We only have a core green at the base there. And so this is about the size I like to harvest those guys. But if we let them go too far, they start turning yellow. And I'm going to pull this one out. This is off of a, uh, another kind of Japanese variety. Watch out for the thorns, by the way. These guys can be pretty nasty. And uh, the other tool that I like to use to clip these things off is just my favorite little garden shears. So these little guys, nice little bypass loppers, really good ones to then clip things off. So I'll just clip off this heavy yellow one, and it's a smaller variety. 
but you'll see this guy gets really golden. So when they get to that golden stage, this is when they start getting really seedy inside, and baba ganoush is about your only thing that you can do to really make something more palatable. If you soak them in salt water, that's another thing that gets, gets the bitter off, because as they get more mature, they become a little more bitter in this case. So unlike the artichokes that have more heart when they mature, these guys... These guys get more bitter. And so, you know, what kind of person are you going to be as you get older? I don't know. Are you going to be an eggplant and you get bitter as you get older? Or are you going to be more like the artichoke and you have more heart? So whatever it is for you, hopefully you find some peace in your garden and you become sweet with all the...